Hi everyone, happy day 95. Today being New Year's Eve, there was no daily mass this morning. So I used the time to go get Billy a new snowboard and go to the grocery store to get some snacks for tonight. While at the grocery store, Billy picked out the biggest bag of double stuffed Oreos I have ever seen and a chocolate cake. Logan grabbed a big bag of chips and some soda. I looked a little while ago and I think they've already eaten half of the Oreos. About five years ago, we started a tradition with the boys that they could eat whatever they wanted on New Year's Eve. See, I'm a really healthy eater and I force my children to do the same. For the most part, they comply, but sometimes they push back. I always tell them, I know I'm the worst mother ever. I'm sorry if I don't want you to eat chemicals or pesticides. So we made a deal with them and every New Year's Eve, I let them eat all the toxins they want. Whatever they don't finish gets thrown out the next day. It works for us. After we got back from the store, I made myself a wonderful pesticide-free vegetable soup while doing the daily readings. In the gospel today, we hear John say, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. The words in the beginning are also the very first words of the Old Testament. So simply put, Jesus was there from the very beginning. He was with God and he was and is God. As we get ready for a new beginning, the beginning of a new year, think about where Jesus is in your life. Is he dwelling in you? Can you see his glory full of grace and truth? Will Jesus be with you by your side as you begin the new year? My plan for the rest of New Year's Eve is to say the rosary at some point before going to church this evening for five o'clock. Our parish is having a little party for anyone that volunteered over the last year. I thought it would be nice to bring Logan since he is such a faithful altar server. Also, they are having adoration after, and I think it would be nice for Logan to go. When I told him about church, he gave me the look, you know, the teen boy look, and said, most kids are home on New Year's Eve. They are not going to church. I quickly responded and said, we are not most. We are called to more. Hi, everyone. I'm sitting here with my son, Logan. Logan, say hi. Hi. We just got out of church. We went to the parish hall to the volunteer open house, which was great. And Logan got so much candy. It's like ridiculous. And an, an entire bag of candy that Father Andrew was trying to get rid of. And nobody can say no to their priest, right? Yep. And then we went upstairs and we did adoration. And we I am so proud of Logan. He sat there for 20 minutes and, and did it. So we are now headed home. We want to wish all of you a happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. Bye. See you next year.